Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to explore how to integrate Olama service into semantic kernel and combine both services to make .NET application, you know, um, AI capable. But this time, uh, since the Olama service is running locally, so you don't need to integrate any third party application, uh, sorry, third party API services. That means like your app application can run locally without any internet connection and then you can, uh, you know, uh, interact with your uh, AI service. Um, so how to do that? Uh, let's jump into the code. So as we have done previously, uh, here uh, we will be, uh, you know, um, adding semantic kernel package into our .NET application and then initialize it with model ID. Uh, we will not provide any API key here. Uh, you can simply keep it null. And then the endpoint will be this one. So uh, this means like uh, the Olama app service, Olama service is running on this port. Uh, this is simple HTTP service. And uh, if you are not aware how to uh, use that one, simply if you have installed Olama, then all you have to do is like search and run this application and it will start automatically as a process and run in the background. So in the system tray here, you can confirm it like this is already running. If you quit, uh, it will not work. The endpoint will not be reachable. So uh, this is already running or uh, and this is a standard port here and the rest of the stuff is same which we tried previously basically uh, we are using chat completion service uh, from semantic kernel and doing the rest of the stuff like uh, asking and adding the chat message to history and like that so i already tried it with one question here uh, write hello world program in c sharp and it gave me a very detailed response um maybe we should try another one like why is the sky blue maybe uh, so as expected and this is a slow response here because i'm recording here and that's why the service is slow but it will work. Um, let's see it. So in the meantime, while it is fetching the response, uh, let's check what's the process. It is hitting so it require actually you know um, GPU uh, so if you have good GPU um, it will be very helpful so you can already see here like the CPU is hitting very high um, so yeah All right, so th that's the main benefit here because we don't have to provide any API key and we, we are not relying on uh, third party, uh, you know, AI services like OpenAI or Azure OpenAI um, hugging phase. So it will not incur you any cost. Uh, you can run it locally and use it as much as you want. Um, so it, it's getting timed out here uh, for some reason. All right, so maybe I can stop and run it again. Okay, um, maybe right hello world oh man no world 
program in JavaScript max fire lines. Okay. Let's try it. All right. So now it's processing something. And and the the speed on the local is quite good. Um, actually, uh, yeah. Since I'm recording, so this, that's why it's slow. But usually, it will give you like maybe five to ten tokens per second, which is quite good speed. Um, yeah, perfect. Then so you can see here like so. This is all about for today's video i hope like you are gaining um more insight about semantic kernel and integration in dotnet applications uh, you can run the olama in the cloud right and then maybe you can have some gpu attached to that one so that it will be like very fast and uh, you can use uh, that service everywhere in in your programs where you need it and in this manner like you don't have to send any proprietary data to those services right if your company needs um, to keep the data safe and secure and so that that's one way to to integrate and use the uh, self-hosted llms right the other one is like maybe you can also fine-tune the models and against your company proprietary data and then build the AI capable applications. But we will explore that more into upcoming videos. For now, I think this is good for today. Thanks for watching. See you in next videos.